It's the 11th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, we're going to go ahead and start on earthchangesscott.net. Hundreds of penguins and other species walk up, wash up on Uruguayan shores. As many as 600 Magallan penguins have been found dead on Uruguayan coasts. Scientists are investigating why so many penguins have died on their way to the Brazilian waters. Authorities said they also spotted turtles, several albatross dolphins, in addition to the large amount of penguins. Now, of course, they're talking about they don't know why these things have died, and uh, they haven't found any small animals. It's only been large animals that have been washing up. And uh, so the mystery continues. I don't think it's that big of a mystery. Um, it's them coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now in Africa, Nambia, snow sets another record. The images of snow covering mountains, roads, sheep, and homes close to Nambian uh, Nakluft Park on Tuesday took Nambian by storm yesterday. The reports and photographs of snowfall circulated rapidly and widely across the internet and inboxes bulged with rare Im images depicting snow in, in areas usually associated with heat and dust not biting cold and white blankets of snow. And of course they have a video attached below. Um, magnitude 4.5 earthquake rattles the California border region along the San Andreas Fault. Uh, of course we've got the Hurricane Adrian in the Pacific and all the funness that that entails. Why is my computer acting so slow today? Wildfire, wildfires in Arizona continue while the wallow fire. After several days of extreme fire behavior, the, wild, the wallow fire has become the second largest fire in Arizona history. By early afternoon on the 8th, the fire had consumed 389,000 acres. That's 608 square miles. Uh, largely in the Apache National Forest and was completed in and was completed uncontained. This image, uh, and then they've got the satellite images of the smoke rolling all the way up and people reporting it as far north as Canada. Uh, Butte, Montana, snow is falling this morning. Um, this was yesterday. Snow levels are dropping down close to 5,500 feet. Um, yesterday morning was snow in Butte, Wichita, Kansas. This is a, a crazy story. Um, experiences rare heat burst the other night. Uh, this was on the 9th. Last night, Wichita experienced a very rare weather phenomenon known as a heat burst. At 12.22 a.m., the temperature at Wichita Mid-Continent Airport was 85 degrees, and at 12.44, the temperature spiked to 102 degrees. This was a 17-degree increase, but in only 20 minutes. Now, I was watching a video on how the local news uh, weather guy, who uh, looked like he's about 25, was explaining that uh, this weather storm system fell apart in this big bubble of hot air dropped suddenly to the ground and the friction caused it to heat up and that's why they had that big wind burst and stuff and I'm just not buying how a big ball of hot air can fall rapidly so um, <clears throat> that's the the official story is is a big ball of hot air fell and dragged across the, the town real quick but uh, three different locations verified that the sudden spike in the, in the winds and whatnot three different airports U.S. part of Missouri River closed. Crops at risk. More, more uh, food damage. Rising water levels on the Missouri River are threatening to flood up to 500,000 acres of key corn and soybean production areas in the western Midwest. Uh, and it goes on to explain how <clears throat> downed rail lines or flooded rail lines will prevent soybean processing, which will increase the, the cost of uh, soybean futures and the speculators are going nuts. China guys who hit by sudden heavy rain, 21 dead, 31 missing after months without rain. Many parts of southern China are now experiencing flooding. One week ago um, a bunch of provinces were suffering severe drought. 
But the situation took a sudden turn over the weekend as several provinces uh, were hit by heavy rains over the weekend. The once parched land is now virtually underwater. So they went from the fire and frying pan into the swimming pool. Over to the extinction protocol. Let me start up on the top here. The big gash in Chile that's erupting, the volcanic eruption in Chile, which is a three mile wide gash in the Andes Mountains um, near the border of Argentina and Chile, um, they're reporting the rivers are boiling over, um, the death to up uh, 4.5 million fish, and I'm sure that's just a guesstimation, on top of all the volcanic ash that is just dumping down in the rivers and the lakes uh, on the farmlands. and. Uh, affecting their um, food chain extensively. Burnt by the sun, high proton density solar winds, smear planets, magnetosphere. And we've been having some crazy things going on with the sun, obviously. And our magnetosphere is not immune. Um, it's definitely already weakened. That's been scientifically proven. And uh, all this active solar weather on top of a weakened magnetosphere is just making things um, compile. So uh, there's a story below about that. The, um, the story about the flooding in China kills 41, scores reported missing. Uh, they've got a crazy story about a feral pack of bloodthirsty dogs terrorize Washington residents. And um, this would fall into Second Amendment, Second Amendment rights. Uh, these feral dogs are, are uh, Running wild, they got to be put down. I imagine. I'm saying it killed a 350-pound puma llama Tuesday night, and they've also killed goats and other farm animals. So uh, there's just some wild dogs running loose. Sign of the times. People can't afford their pets, and they're just letting them loose. So all these pets are starting to pack together, and they're hungry. And they've got a story on restless and rising naval tension growing between China and its Asian neighbors. And of course, China is flexing its muscles due to um, our economy problems, and they are still boost. They just, you know, came out with stealth fighter planes and aircraft carriers, so uh, uh, they're definitely uh, trying to jockey for their position um, for the power vacuum that is taking place. <clears throat> 50,000 acres go up in flames in raging Miami bushfires. Now this is down in Florida, they're having extreme drought as well. And I grew up down in Orlando, I can test when that when that swamp gets dry and that water dries up, it's just like a match ready to go up. And um, they are, brush fire battle in West Dade County isn't getting any easier for firefighters as it continues to burn on Friday morning. The fire has now consumed over 50,000 acres and it's 50% contained, according to the Florida Division of Forestry. So uh, that's still ongoing. Nature unraveling, giant rat plagues being reported across the globe. Uh, our Australia oversized rats are taking up residents in southwest of Brisbane and uh, Goodna as residents slowly move back to their flood-affected homes. In South Africa, giant rats as big as cats have killed and eaten two babies in separate attacks in South African squalid townships this week. And they're saying these rats are uh, getting bigger and they are multiplying. And the ecosystem disaster, hundreds of lakes and rivers polluted by ash in Chile and in Argentina. Now again, the fish kills are just adding up and going through the roof as far as damage to the croplands, damage to the rivers and the lakes, <clears throat> and the things that these these huge, huge, massive eruptions do. And, uh, you know, it's snowing in Africa already, for Christ's sake. And uh, there's it's just going to continue as long as that huge eruption continues. Uh, climate chaos, rare June snow falls in desert region of Nambia, of course. That's, that's due to the climate change. We're having some severe severe weather altercations. Uh, over to the RSOE quick. Of course we have the heat wave in the United States, uh, the south all the way up into New England and uh, just scorching temperatures and uh, that's rolling. 
um, across as I can contest here in Des Moines. Our temperatures dropped. We're, we're riding right around in the 60s and uh, having a lot of rain. Um, but the jet stream's like pretty much right above me. Uh, flooding in China, of course. The volcano in Chile and Argentina. Uh, forest fire in Arizona. And of course the botulism or the the, the E. coli um, scare going on in, in, uh, in Europe. <clears throat> And uh, they're also reporting it here in the United States. Um, what else? What else? And a tropical storm just moved out of the Philippines and all the, the wind damage and flooding that goes on along with tropical storms. And that's heading towards China. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Until I see you next time, enjoy your weekend, everybody.